Hello Libra, welcome to the channel and this is going to be your monthly tarot reading May 2018. <clears throat> the first card, this is going to be a five card spread and the first card Libras, it does shows up the topic of your month. The second card does expresses the things you can go for by your choice. The third card does shows up the best possible course of action here during the month. <clears throat> the uh, fourth card that shows up the challenges that you will have during this month and the last one it shows up the uh, the final outcome of the month or the um, the result of the four cards. Alright, so uh, the topic of your month Libras is going to be the Empress card and obviously this is going to be a, a very productive month for you and very potent month. Now it's time to plan big guys with the Empress card and it is time to um, discover the beauty of the world and the beauty of your situations around you either coming into your career or either coming into your relationship it does seems that you are going to redefine yourself into the environment in a sense of that whatever you have sown in the past either good or bad is going to be reaped right now and i could say that this is rather toward the positive side here with the empress you can expect to be very busy making money regarding your career here and making big plans for your future career wise and when it comes to a relationship with this card guys it could come as a pregnancy or it comes as a creating the solidity into your relationship defining boundaries you know and uh, you know creating comfort environment making your partner aware that they are everything for you etc so they can show you the same thing compassion it is what the key word here is with this card and as well uh, that this card signifies that during the month you will have some sort of a decision making all right decision to take and in order to to take that decision first of all you need to um, approach it maturely all right you shouldn't act based on your emotions on your spontaneous emotion but rather think it through and as well uh, in order to take that decision you need to uh, withdraw yourself a little bit from the situation before you can actually accurately scale what kind of decision you need to take J let me just give you an example now let's say that someone approach you and, and propose you to be in a relationship with you be, instead of just instantly saying yes or no just withdraw yourself from it give yourself a, a couple of days to a week time to just think it through and then give your answer then the second card as I said it is what you can go for here with the eight of wands and this card does not say a particular thing but it says that you will have an ocean an ocean of opportunities guys uh, the things will happen with great speed all right and with the eight of wands this card does expresses a multiple uh, vast amounts of varieties versatilities and opportunities coming in your way now the thing with this card however is that not everything or kind of like every single one of those kind of opportunities isn't meant for anybody all right so it's anybody's take that being said it will go around you and if not taken and seized it will fly by and go with the flow so you also need to have that readiness you know to take advantage of everything um, strange that is happening around you you know every single opening that is happening around you even if this is a taking advantage of people that count on you even this even this means to take advantage of certain situation which you mean that it isn't fair regarding other people all right because this is once in a lifetime uh, <clears throat> opportunities that comes in your way guys let's say that you are trying to get um certain project you know and this project uh, in your career and this project is meant for somebody else but this somebody else falls sick and cannot get that project at that particular time so you are the reserve there all right and your boss approaches you and say okay this person is sick so do you want to take the lead and it's not going to be fair for this for the person sick but who cares I mean after all you have been approached so this kind of opportunities I am talking about you will have very important is, is as well to be playful very important is to go with um, with you know room for uh, newness during this month to uh, to fit newness into your environment during this month very important is to 
expect nothing, all right? Because it, there will be very pleasant surprises happening here. And um, if you do have a certain expectations, you may find yourself depraved of, of taking advantage of one of those surprises or multiple of those surprises. So a best approach toward the month here is the Page of Swords. And this is going... <clears throat> going along the month or through the month with uh, your personal agenda and with your personal thoughts. That being said, it does look like with this card, guys, that not everybody wants you to do things that you really crave for, all right? And uh, unfortunately for that month, you need for that month, you need to take a, a rather little bit of surreptitious standstill for a sense of that you should let's say that um, <clears throat> you know uh, you need to make an impression that you won't go for uh, those aims of yours that go against other people but in the same time this is just a pretense from your behalf so you wait for that opening here to happen and you can actually execute whatever you are after either um, reaching personal independence you know either being with a search with us with a certain person or either taking over project etc etc the point here guys is is that the month can be as beautiful as you make it and the only thing that can uh, stop you of making it the way the, as beautiful as it can be is um, <clears throat> yourself uh, your sense of it's not self-righteousness but it is a common righteousness uh, that you think that others deserve more than you do and um and also the sense of that uh, you deserve less, all right, or kind of like you think the less of you. So it's something that it should not take place during this month. But brother, you Libras, you need to ask for everything that can actually come on your point. I mean, you always need to ask for more during this month. And then we do have the uh, challenges that you need to overcome. And as I said, you need to ask for more during this month. It does seem that whatever happened is simply not going to be enough. So you will have that insatiable hunger to materialize dreams, to materialize lucrivity, you know, to materialize uh, uh, tactics and, and strategies that you do have and to make them work plans as well you know and it's just never going to be enough so you will be unstoppable machine during the month all right and what happens here with the nine of cups is that um, <clears throat> you guys need to have certain boundaries all right and even though uh, the righteousness is going to stop you you uh, you need to define, as I said, a boundaries of your actions during the month and you need to keep those boundaries because the Nine of Cups is one of the cards saying that sometimes the dream come true, all right, but this is going to be uh, the, uh, the issue here with you. The more the things work out for you, the more tenacious you will become and the less happiness you are going to experience from the actions you are taking against your project or against your relationship. That being said, it is very important, as I said, to define boundaries that will, those boundaries will define what really will make you happy and work only for that. So here I can conclude, although there will be numerous opportunity, only those opportunities that originally fall into your code of conduit should be taken rather than every single one of them because it does look like that they will become so many that at the end uh, you're going to find yourself in uh, in a point that you're going to tear uh, yourself apart to um, against the, the the multiple points that you need to involve yourself in and put a um, you know efforts toward and at the end we do have the results of all that here that will be the devil card and you get what you truly want either that is going to be your relationship or your career here with the devil card it does seems that the yearning of your soul is going to be fulfilled Libra oh yes it's going to be fulfilled very important however with the devil card is that this yearning of your soul will give you tremendous amounts of power because the devil card it is always about power guys and uh, this is the power to um, traverse aggression into a, a steaming force allowing us to resolve issues to make things happens uh, and to uh, 
to basically satisfy our insatiable hunger as I said that you are gonna have such the insatiable hunger uh, regarding the uh, things we yearn for so at the end it does look like the, at the end of May somewhere uh, you will either have your relationship as I said or you are you're gonna either have your uh, point into your career that you are yearning for and um, I hope you don't stop there because this is what the devil car is stopping when you uh, have whatever you wanted you know and uh, take full advantage of it and by taking full advantage of it you know making other people miserable so uh, you need to realize that life is for constant improvement Libras and uh, at the end even though you get what your soul yearns this is just the conscious understanding of what your soul yearns there are so many more goals that you can achieved you uh, the next months that are coming up Libra so do not stop there guys uh, and uh, <clears throat> that being said this was your tarot reading for May 2018 I hope you Libras enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video Rat signing out now see you next time bye